what we find most of the time is that the data is not clean in the ERP because stuff is being done in Excel, managed in the silo in Excel so that nobody else has any access to that data. 2,000 clean items, 65,000 yeah. <laughs> items in error groups. Right. Yeah. But believe me, they're being planned and they're being planned outside of the system. They're being planned outside of the system. Nobody knows why they're being planned, how they're being planned, but there are orders being created. And so one of the big things that we bring to the table, and it's something that has to be really emphasized, is we're eliminating these data silos and bringing it all under one roof so that the company can essentially dissect how their inventory uh, got where it is today. Mm -hmm. They can see, ah, okay, I've got a reorder point of, the, of, of X, I've got an order quantity of Y, I'm using a lead time of two weeks, and I'm predicting demand of, uh, of Z a week. And as a consequence, this is how we built our policy. And they can then run a, a trade-off between, in the application via what if, saying, well, what if I lower my order quantity? What if I lower my reorder point? What is that going to then do to all of my metrics?